Okay, are you getting where this is headed? If it's about us, if it's about me and my abilities, it is impossible for me to be a disciple. If it is about my own ability to white-knuckle the cross and carry it on my own power, it is impossible for me to be a disciple. If it is about my ability to faithfully and always put the priorities in the right order so I'm not giving the attention to my family when I ought to be giving it to the mission and when I ought to be giving it to my family and I'm giving it to the mission instead, if it's about my ability to do that accurately, I'm not going to be a good disciple. But if, with God, all things are possible, by the grace of God and by the power of God's Holy Spirit, each one of us can find the gap between what we're able to do on our own and what God expects of us to be bridged. Not because we're people who are special, not because we're people who are given um, some sort of uh, legacy or anything else, but because God's desire is that we would depend on God and as a result and as a result we would remember that with God all things are possible with God I can be a faithful disciple with God I can get the priorities right with God I can remember that it's not all about me but that as a community with God we can welcome people in we can have our needs met, and we can make sure that there is plenty left over to care for those who are not yet a part of our number, who are themselves in any kind of need. And so, despite the way the gospel starts out, I think it's incredible good news. Because I think that all the things that are impossible for us on our own are indeed not only possible, but already accomplished by God.